Okay. Going well. Looking back at, I guess, Justice and Jam's performance against Missouri, what, what are you, what are kind of their mindsets? How are you guys feeling in terms of, you know, is that kind of a jumping off point, a bouncing, like something for you guys? To no, um, it's just another game. You know, obviously we do whatever, whatever we have to do to uh, win the game. I mean, the most important thing is that we were able to, you know, stay on the field, you know, sustain some longer drives. And with longer drives, uh, more guys get opportunities to make plays. So I just think we went out and executed. You know, uh, we play complimentary football to the defense, and that's what's important. And that's kind of what you guys expect. Absolutely. It's, it's, a, it's a whatever it takes to get the win. That's what we want to be uh, and provide to this offense. I know you guys kind of treat everything like you, you want to do what's best for the team. But as a you former running back yourself, how much can a, a game like the one that Justice had kind of help you mentally and kind of help you kind of build some momentum just personally as well. Yeah, we, we talk at the beginning of the year. We try to put all personal things aside, you know, and do what we have to do. Those championships aren't from personal uh, goals here at Alabama. You know, everyone understands that, you know, when you're here, you're going to be surrounded by other great backs, you're be surrounded by other great receivers, and it, around guys that all want the ball. So, um, you know, those are things we talk about at the beginning of the season, just going out and playing the game and just letting the game come to you. Robbie Oost is a great player, man. He works his butt off. Uh, he's unselfish. Um, you know, uh, doesn't get a lot of pats on the back, you know, other than fans yelling oots. But uh, uh, definitely a uh, great guy to be around. He's a man's man, and he's definitely a guy I would love to be my teammate. What did you see on film on that touchdown run with uh, Just a good run. I mean, you know, you have to make somebody miss. And uh, he did a great job getting his pass down, making someone miss, and, and going to get in the end zone. But there's a lot of blocking up front that takes place, blocking downfield. But uh, that was a good individual effort on the run. You know, um, you know those things for those guys. I mean, obviously, you're excited for that guy at the moment, but you know, um, um, you, you know, you move on. You know, those are runs that he's made a lot in his career. He's going to make a lot more of them, and obviously, you get excited for him in the moment. But I think he's mature enough to just say that's a run that he's supposed to make, and um, you know, the fans get to talk about it and rewatch it. But I'm sure he watched it once or twice, and now he's trying to figure out how he can do it again. Do you have any concern with the uh, lowering the head helmet, helmet contact on that play? Uh, no, um, I, 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 I mean we. We teach a pro proper way to run, but you're playing a game of football where things happen in a split second, so it's a good run. What did you see on that run from uh, Richmond? Um, he did a really good job of just, you know, uh, one, getting us out of the end zone. You know, when you're backed up like that, the main thing you want to do is try to, you know, get the ball out. So if you do have to punt, you know, you got good position to do that. But he did a really good job trusting the line, squeezing through, and really good job making the guy miss at the next level. So uh, it was exciting to see him make, a, uh, make the last guy miss. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, he's a guy who's been fighting through a bunch of injuries. So to see him get in the game and get in there and make a play like that, you can look at the sideline and see how excited they were for him, but also very excited for the defense. Our defense had played a really good game and got down there and stopped those guys. So for us to be able to get out as an offense, to not give those guys a chance to have to punt the ball, uh, that says a lot about team football there. So I was glad for him to be able to make that kind of play. What was the reaction in your room to Ty Simpson running, running down after that big play, trying to get more involved? Yeah, you know, uh, 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 it, 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 that, that's a great example of what this team is about. You know, when um, when another guy's making a play, another guy's trying to, you know, uh, uh, be involved in it, you know, they kind of gave each other a hard time about who ran the fastest on that play. So that's good. It's always good to have that kind of camaraderie um, from your offense. You know you're doing the right things when those guys can have fun together. What did the GPS say? Who ran faster? I'm not getting into that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm, but I'm sure one of the two will want to tell you and the other one won't want to tell you. I'll leave it at that. <clears throat> a little bit, you know. Uh, you know, th this this time of year when you have a bye week, you really want to focus on some of the things you can do better. So we've been doing a lot of self scout, and also it gives you a chance to uh, kind of look at a few opponents that we're going to play uh, in the future. You know, because you don't want to spend two weeks preparing for a team that you normally would spend a week for. So um, you know, our first couple of days we did some self scout. We looked at a few future opponents, and uh, today we'll take some time to really focus in on LSU a little bit. Kind of you know uh, start to get like a base game plan of some things we can do and some some things that may cause those problems that we could talk about and you know uh, uh, dive into on Sunday when we get back. But, yeah, he's he's had some injuries just like everybody has, and you know the Wisconsin game he got kind of banged up. Uh, he's done a really good job in the training room rehab, you know, just kind of getting back to speed and uh, just kind of been in, in, uh, introducing him to you know a little bit more practice. And like I said, in the game it was good to see him get in the game. You know, um, 
the group is full of full of different kind of leaders. You know, some guys are, you know, uh, a little bit leaders by example. Guys that work hard. Guys that you know show up and show how to do things. And some guys are a little bit more verbal. So, you know, and uh, uh, Rich is a young young guy, but Rich has leadership qualities also. So he's a guy that you know you don't have to lead around a lot. You know, he understands what he's supposed to do. Uh, he's a good big brother to the guys that are younger than him, Kevin Riley and Daniel Hill. So uh, even though he's a young guy, I mean, my whole room is pretty much young. So they do a good job of just feeding off of each other, you know, the rights and wrongs and things they could do better. You mentioned introducing some stuff to him in practice. Has he like, kind of learned anything new this season, trying to get him to grow? Yeah, everyone's learning. I mean, Jam's learning. I mean, uh, I'm learning. You're learning. Uh, so we're all learning, man. Every day, every time you make a mistake, you learn from it. So um, he just hadn't had a lot of game reps, so his reps are a lot of the mental reps or, or, or practice reps that he's got to continue to get better at. Just any running back has to get better at ball security and also just the fundamentals of pass protection. So I think those are the biggest things is just the ins and outs of that, not only for him but the rest of the group also. Thank you. Thank you.